I'm Louise Jackson. I'm the programme lead for the MSc Health Economics and Health Policy and the MSc Health Economics and Econometrics. So I think there are a couple of things that make the programme unique. I think first of all there's the issue that we have a range of students from different backgrounds which I think um, gives the course an, an added um, interest and it makes the classes really exciting and dynamic and I think students gain a lot from the, the mix of students that we have in the classroom. I think the second element is the specialist skills that the staff have who teach on the course. Um, so um, within the Health Economics Unit we have around 20 members of staff and different members of staff will teach on the course at different at different times, de deflecting their expertise. So it means that the students really do get um, in-depth and um, detailed discussion with staff members who really are specialist in that particular area. So the MSc in Health Economics and Health Policy um, is aimed at quite a broad um, group of people. Um, so the prerequisite for the course is a good undergraduate degree. Um, and um, this means that we have people coming from different areas. Um, so we have some people who say are working in the NHS and are interested in further understanding health economics and developing skills in a health economics area. And we also have people who have um, recently finished their undergraduate degree and want to um, get involved in carrying out research in health economics or perhaps working in the health economics related field. Um, we also have people who say work in pharmacy and um, want to develop a health economics aspects to, uh, aspect to their work. Um, so we have people from very different ranges um, of backgrounds who are coming to do the course. We also have um, some students who come from overseas um, who are interested in gaining experience and knowledge relating to a different healthcare system. For the Health Economics and Econometrics programme, this course is primarily aimed at those who have a, already have an economics background. Um, so people who've completed an a, a undergraduate degree in economics and who are keen to pursue a, a master's programme in specialising in health economics. But for the Health Economics and Health Policy programme, there is no prerequisite to have an, an undergraduate degree in economics. We teach mainly in weekly blocks. Um, so each module is spread across one or, or maybe two weeks. And students are required to be on campus um, for those one or two weeks. And um, during that time, there's um, a range of learning styles that are used, um, so um, lectures, small group sessions, practical sessions, interactive sessions, so a whole range of different techniques are used to enhance student learning. Um, and then after the weekly blocks, students um, spend time preparing their assignments uh, or preparing for examinations. Um, and so that's a key, key element of the course. And I think students find that it does work quite well, um, particularly for part-time part students who combine um, their study with carrying on with their, their day job. Um, so the fact that we've got distinct blocks of time when they are on campus and are engaged in learning really does help them to organise their time and succeed in their studies. Um, and I think the other thing that students need to know about our contact is that we use um, Canvas, which is the online learning environment quite a lot um, and this allows students when they're not on Canvas to be able to access teaching materials, take part in discussions, um, submit their assignments and things like that. The programmes attach attract different groups of people. Um, so for the MSc in Health Economics and Health Policy we have um, some students who um, already working in a health related field and who say want to get more specialised in health economics. Um, we also have people who aren't working in a health related field and work, want to work in a, in a health related area. So they might come to us and study for the MSc in health economics and health policy and then they want to go on and develop a, a career, say working in the pharmaceutical industry or in um, research related to health economics. Um, for the Health Economics and Econometrics programme, um, so these are people who have uh, an economics background already, who want to develop um, greater skills in health economics, so they want to become more specialist. And our students, again, go on to work in, in many different areas, so um, working in local authorities, NHS, um, in industry as well, um, so in, in many different areas. Um, I think there are a number of different reasons that students would choose Birmingham. 
Um, so I think the first is the expertise within the unit. As I said, we're a very specialist unit and um, we've been involved in important research in a range of areas and it means that we're able to put together a really um, specialist and successful program. Um, we've, the program's been running now for many, many years and it means that over the years we've managed to build up a program that we know works for students. And our aim at the end of our programs is to get, student, to get the students to the level where they're um, able to work as a, a junior health economist. Um, and so the year or two years if they're doing it part-time is really designed to help them develop the skills and techniques and knowledge that they need to be able to work in this, in this area. Um, I think the second um, is, as I said, the, the course has a range of students from different backgrounds and students do gain a lot um, from interacting with students who've come from, um, say, a different career background to themselves or have studied a different degree. Um, and I think the third is our lovely campus, um, which um, students enjoy being on and spending time in and the, the wonderful facilities that we have on campus. I think students really appreciate that. So my favourite thing about teaching on our MSc programmes is that we have students from a, a different range of backgrounds. Um, so we have some people who are already working in a healthcare field, we have people who want to move into work in a healthcare field, we have people who come from an overseas background who are keen to learn more about um, our research here in Birmingham. Um, so I think the mix that we have of the students really uh, gives us an exciting and interesting classroom atmosphere, um, so our, our course is campus based and um, we, our teaching style is very interactive, um, so we present information but also students can share their thoughts and experiences and we have lots of practical exercises um, and I think that mix of students really makes it a, a really interesting and um, rewarding course to teach on.